Welcome to part three of Presenting Sig, River Cutthroat, or Master of Discard, as he is with this deck. So, Lightning Greaves. Whip for zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Two cast and cost uh, artifact. The equipped creature gets haste and shroud. Sword of Feast and Famine. Three cast costs, just like all the other swords. Protection from black and green. When the creature hit quit, when the equipped creature hits an opponent, they discard a card, which is kind of the theme of the deck, and I get to untap all my lands. Tiny Bones. I just saw him. I saw him when I was looking through Magic Card Market. I thought, hey, this looks cute and cool. So, two casting costs, one colorless, one black, for a 1-2 Skeleton Rogue, legendary creature. At the beginning of my end step, if an opponent discarded a card this turn, I draw a card and I lose one life. For six, each opponent note cards in their hand loses ten life. I haven't played him yet. Uh, I've not played this deck since the group kind of died. So, I don't really know how he's going to work, but... Uh, I'm curious to try. Eager to try. Counter spell. Counter target spell. I should get the L.A. Williams Ice Age art. What's funny is you've heard me ramble. You've probably picked up on a lot of the cards I have to read. My own cards. Because I forgot exactly what they do. But a lot of them, I know the artist. <laughs> so, under the artist lines... On a good number of these, better than the cards themselves. Command Tower, add black or blue to my mana pool in this deck. So, free dual land. Thief of Sanity. So I open this in the draft. I don't like draft. It's just not my thing. But I did agree to do a draft, and I got him out of it. So that draft was worth it for me. Because, uh, well, yeah, he's foil. So, three mana. For a 2-2 Flying Spectre, whenever he deals combat damage to player, look at the top three cards of that library, exile one of them face down, then put the rest into their graveyard. For as long as the card is exiled, I may look at it, I may cast it, and I may spend mana or mana of any type to cast that spell. And yes, I, I did have to read the card because there's a lot of text, and I didn't remember exactly precisely what it does. <clears throat> I don't. Sometimes I have to read the basic lands to know what they do. Consecrated Sphinx. I love Consecrated Sphinx. I don't like the um, Scars of Mirrodin art. don't like it at all. So when this came out, I thought, yes, I have to get one of those. I have to replace Consecrated Sphinxes. I had two at the time. And so Sig got the Amiket Invocation Consecrated Sphinx. Uh, of course, he's a 3-6 flyer, 4-6 flyer, rather, read the card, 4-6 mana, and whenever an opponent draws a card, I may draw two cards. I, I do see why people don't like these. But it looks like that's changing, because last time we looked on MKM, this was uh, kissing 100 euros. So, they're becoming popular. Unfortunately, I only have one Invocations copy, so if I sell that one, uh, I won't have another one. And I do love it. I like it because it's kind of weird in the deck. Okay, anyway, Rogue's Passage, add one of my mana pool, four tap, target creature becomes a block at end of turn. Noetic Scales. Now, this is another one of the key cards in the deck, and this is why um, my creature power, barring equipment, tops out at 6. So at the beginning of each player's upkeep, they return to their hand all creatures with power greater than the number of cards in their hand. So it fits Sig's discard theme perfectly. Hey, uh, you're down to 3 cards. Well, looks like you get to pick up your greater hoof. Well, actually that would be bad for me if they picked up their greater hoof behemoth, wouldn't it? Okay, that was a bad example, but the first one to come to mind. So, Noetic Scales. It's not a very well-known card. 
It doesn't fit every deck by any means, but it's well worth trying and running if you have any kind of Zerg Rush deck. If you're playing Edric, this could be really nice. Edric, of course, typically only playing cheap creatures to get them out and start smashing face and drawing cards. Temple of the False God. Uh, here we go, words of waste. So, here's kind of the combo. Next time I draw a card, words of waste, three cast cost enchantment. Next time I draw a card, each opponent discards a card from the hand instead. And whenever they would discard a card, I may draw a card. So I could spend another one and make them discard again. So if I have both these in play, and I've got the mana for it, I can make all my opponents dump their hands. So, nice bit of interaction that. Swamp. Glendalinda Archmage, 4, 2-2 two, two Flyer, uh, spend 1 blue, sacrificer, counter target spell, non-creature spell, and she has Persist. And of course with Equilibrium, with Crystal Shard, I can bounce her back, recast her, and get rid of that Negwood Neville Gun counter. Or, if she has Umaslava's Jitte equipped, no, it only gives plus two, plus two, till end of turn. Uh, blame my last. I was thinking wrong again. So this is the newest addition to the deck. Turgrid, God of Fright. So five for a four or five creature with menace, a god. Never an opponent sacrifices non-token permanent or discards a permanent card. I may put that card on, from the graveyard on the battlefield under my control. So she fits the discard theme very nicely. And then her flip side, Turgid's Lantern. Four mana for a legendary artifact. Target player loses three life unless you sacrifice non-land permanent or discard a card. Four, I can untap it. I don't expect to be having it uh, in play as a lantern really ever. <laughs> it's one of those cards with a mode that just... Uh, it uh, doesn't matter, but the other mode, Turgrid, she fits the deck nicely. Perfect for the deck. Swamp. And last card, Little Animal Spectre. Three mana for a 2-1 flyer. Never enters the battlefield. All of my opponents discard a card. And that's it. That's my Sig EDH deck. Sig Master of Discard. With that, I'm going to end this video, and then I'll pick it up with uh, two run-throughs of the deck to check the draws and see how well it works. Talk to you soon.